What's up everyone, Harold at Walk Race Vintage here, and this is a little bit of a 335 day. And here we have a 1997 ES335 from Gibson, of course. And I love playing this guitar. Plain and simple. Any 335 is a good guitar. This one in particular looks beautiful, of course, with the cherry translucent uh, finish. It's got a slim neck, which I love me a skinny neck. So I always have a good time with these guitars. 335s came around about 1958, and it was the first commercially produced uh, semi-hollow guitar. So Gibson, you know, always just innovating, doing their thing. And I'm very happy they did that so I can play one today. It has a classic tone, and that comes from the 57 classic humbuckers that come stock with this thing. And classic is the perfect word. That's exactly the word I would use for this. Don't let that fool you. It's a very versatile guitar. You can play metal, honestly, if you really crank it. Of course, blues, you think of your Clapton's, you think of your BB King's. This is that guitar, you know. On top of that, this is a classic, once again, classic 335 example. But there is a cousin to that. And uh, why don't we just... And just like that, here's a cousin to the 335. It's the Trini Lopez model. Um, first player that comes to mind, obviously Trini Lopez, RIP to a great one. But on top of that, Dave Grohl. It's pretty immediately recon recognizably different than a regular 335. First and foremost, the F holes. These are diamond holes. I don't know if they're still called F holes. Let us know in the comments. It's a good debate. Um, he's also got a badge here with his name on it. It's a wooden kind of like plaque thing. And um, you know, a legend deserves to have this on his guitar. The other thing is the inlays are definitely different. They're like a split rhombus kind of inlay. This thing has a 64 neck profile. It's a little chunky. The body is actually three ply maple. It's got poplar in there too. And then another slab of maple. So. You got two heavy woods and one light wood, which makes it really balanced. This thing has custom bucker Alnico 3s and they're unpotted. So you know what that means. It's a raw sounding guitar, no frills. It's just power, you know? Of course you roll it down and you get clean too, but if you want that power, you get the unpotted Alnico 3s. And that's what this has. This guitar is available at Walt Grace Vintage. Online, www.waltgracevintage.com or come to our shop and check it out, play it for yourself, and have a blast with it like I'm about to have. I'm Harold, hope you enjoyed this. Let's do it. See you next time. Mm -hmm.